So to solve this problem, we have to consider various scenarios here. For a silicon diode, the breakdown voltage is 0.7 volts. Those two are silicon diodes as mentioned. So that is the first point we have to consider. Second point, there are two loops. One is the upper KVL and the second one is the bottom KVL. So we have to consider two loops here. Okay. And the third thing that we have to consider is if uh, the current is ID as mentioned here, if we take this as ID1, okay, ID plus ID1 is equal to V0 by 2K. That means V0 by R, which is nothing but the current passing through this. This V0 by 2, if we consider as i of 2k example okay just to represent the current so the current that is passing through this is nothing but id plus id1 so based on these three things we are going to solve this problem so there are several steps that we will follow and as usual the first step that we'll do is represent the circuit in the simple form easy form for the people to understand now let us look at how to solve this problem Hello all, uh, in this uh, problem, um, it is asked to determine the V0 and ID uh, for a given circuit, okay. So, V0 is here and ID is here. So, there are two silicon diodes which are in two parallel paths. So, as we know, um, we can represent the circuit again. As we have been explaining, the first thing that a guy has to do while solving this problem is you have to represent it in a simple form so now this can be represented at a simple uh, voltage source and uh, as it is a silicon diode 0 0.7 volts drop and then there is a resistor of 2k okay and again there is a parallel path here again a resistor of 2k which is connected to a node this is 0.7 volts okay so this you can treat it as ground right 10 volts uh, uh, source and then here there is a resistor to ground which is 2k and here we have v0 which is represented and this is id as given in this now uh, to solve this problem basically the first thing is there are two loops here one is the uh, outer loop and the second one is the inner loop so this is the outer loop actually okay and then this is the inner loop okay so we, we are calling it outer and the basically uh, the top one and the bottom one okay now if we put a um, kit of voltage law here starting from here this is minus 10 okay plus 0.7 okay plus let us uh, uh, treat this as id only id okay into 2k that is the voltage across this right plus uh, you can put v0 okay v0 is equal to 0 okay now this becomes id into 2k okay plus v0 is equal to 9.3 that is the outer one now let us see the uh, inner one or the bottom one minus 10 plus 0.7 okay and then uh, let us treat this current as ID1, okay, uh, 0.7 into ID1, uh, sorry, 0.7 plus ID1 into 2K, okay, plus V0 is equal to 0, which again is ID1 into 2K, Okay, and 
plus V naught is equal to again 9.3. Now this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Okay, if you try to solve these two, okay, uh, this will become id into 2k minus, uh, okay, so v0 and v0 gets cancelled, right, 9.3, 9.3 gets cancelled, if we minus them, minus id1 into 2k is equal to 0 which means id is equal to id1 which means what it is saying is basically the current that will flow through id will be same as id1 if it is uh, expected right <clears throat> because um, uh, this is 2k resistor 2k resistor s yes, silicon diode silicon diode these are basically a symmetric uh, configuration that is present here Okay, so what we got is ID1 is equal to ID1 is equal to ID2. That's what we got, right? Now, if we take the current here, uh, which can be treated as I, this is nothing but, okay, ID1 plus ID2, right? Because the current will come from here, the current will come from here and uh, both will get added and so now let us treat it as simply ID, okay. Now the total current, if we put it as IT, that means the current that is coming out is equal to nothing but ID, okay. So, plus id which is nothing but 2 into id that's what we get here now v naught is nothing but um is equal to i into r right 2 into id into 2k right okay so which means 4k id that is what we get as v naught now Again, let us write the simple equation here. Okay, so V naught is equal to 4K ID. Let's remember this. V naught is equal to 4K into ID. Right? Now, let us take one outer equation. Minus 10 plus 0.7. Okay. Plus ID into 2K. Okay, uh, plus V naught is equal to 0. Now, let us substitute uh, V naught here. Okay, minus 9.3 plus 2K ID. Okay, plus 4K ID is equal to 0. Okay, now that means 6K ID is equal to 9.3 which meant id is equal to if we do the calculation in the calculator uh, 9.3 divided by 6 which is around 1.55 milliamps so that's the current in each branch this is 1.55 this is 1.55 and the total current is one point uh, into this branch okay this branch is 1.55 into 2 which is nothing but 3.1 okay so now v naught becomes 2k sorry 4k into 1.55 right that's what we have, right? Which means, um, how much? 1.55 milliamps into 4, which is nothing but 6.2 volts. So, the voltage here will be 6.2 volts. That's how we have to 
solve the problem here.